Hello friends, welcome back to another video lecture on introduction to AutoCAD. So in the previous video, you are introduced to the graphical user interface, the layout of the window, availability of various commands, availability of command prompt, status bar, etc. In today's lecture, we will try to see two particular draw commands that is line and polyline. Also, we will try to see how to select and deselect objects for editing or for deleting purposes. Let us start the draw command. AutoCAD is very intuitive software and as you can see here right now on the screen, when I place my mouse on top of any of these commands that I would like to execute, a pop-up window emerges out. You don't have to click the button, you just have to place your mouse on top of that and it emerges automatically. It gives you the clear idea how to proceed with this command and it is available for almost every command. If you get stuck at some point, don't hesitate to put your mouse on top of the button and voila, you get your answers right there. Let us get started with the line command. So line command can be activated either by clicking on this button or you can type L as for the short key for line command and press enter. If you are clicking on this button, you don't have to press enter and if you are typing L, yes, you have to press enter. As you can see, when I start a command, especially draw commands, my mouse changes its pointer. Now it is a crosshair and for picking any point, you always have these crosshairs. So once you start the line command, as you can see, I can pick these points just like this randomly using my mouse clicking button. So it keeps on going and it is never ending. As you can see, the line is not stopping from coming behind my cursor. Once you have drawn enough and sufficient lines, all that you have to do is press the escape button on your keyboard and your command gets closed. It is always preferred to press escape button twice before you start your commands or at the end of every command. Pressing twice would ensure that you come out of command or the subcommand completely. I have drawn few lines. Now I would like to clear the space. How can I clear the space? The easiest way is to click on it. Click on the entities that you would like to delete like this and you can pick it up. Okay, so you can pick up these lines like this. This is how you pick up lines using click of a mouse. Now suppose by mistake I have selected this line. I do not wish to select this line, but by mistake I selected it. As you can see, while selecting each of this entity, I have not pressed any other key on the keyboard like shift or control or anything. I just have clicked it. Now, if I want to avoid selecting this particular line alone, all that I have to do is press the shift key and you can see there is a minus symbol coming next to the cursor. Just click it and that gets deselected. Everything else is selected. Press escape and all the selection goes off or deselection happens. Just click once, take your hands off the mouse, just drag the mouse without clicking and then you click once more and you see there are certain lines which got selected and there are certain lines even though partly inside the box that didn't get selected. Now let me introduce to you the other selection method that is fence method. As you can see here I am dragging it towards the left hand side. So here also the method is same I am just clicking once and then dragging it to the left and then clicking it again. Now you can see here which all lines get highlighted they all will get selected and as you can see certain lines are not completely inside the box but still they are getting selected. This is the basic difference between box method and fence method. So in fence method, whatever entities which are inside or even partially inside, they all get selected even if it is just a point. So this selects all the line. Now if I want to select every line, yes, I just have to use either the box method and ensure that all the entities lie completely inside my blue box then and only then it gets selected. Let me delete it. 
now to introduce you to the polyline let me select the option polyline here polyline works exactly like your line and there is no much of a difference so this is now done using polyline now let me draw same with the help of line and show you what is the basic difference between line and polyline now the top one is drawn using polyline and the bottom one is drawn using line command now if i select any one line in polyline all the lines get selected and if i select any one line in line only that line gets selected so line command whenever you create each line they become separate individual entities whereas in polyline you now how many lines that you create using polyline all of them become a single entity this is particularly useful when you have some kind of a template that you want to draw and you want to select by clicking just one entity the entire drawing made with that command